Welcome to the BioBalance HealthCast, episode 659. Iodine, why you need this supplement. BioBalance HealthCast features conversations about anti-aging medicine. Your host is Dr. Kathy Moffat, medical director of BioBalance Health and a leading expert in treating symptoms of aging. Dr. Maupin is the author of The Secret Female Hormone, the seminal work about testosterone replacement therapy for women, and Got Testosterone, the award-winning book for men that helps men choose the most effective and safe form of testosterone replacement. These books are available on Amazon or from Dr. Maupin's office at BioBalance Health in St. Louis and in Kansas City. Dr. Maupin's office is currently accepting new patients. Welcome to the BioBalance HealthCast. I'm Dr. Kathy Maupin, and today we are going to talk about iodine, why you need this supplement in your life. Most days when I'm in the office, I have patients come in, we discuss their lab, their hormones, we discuss their lifestyle and changes they can make to be healthier, we discuss any medical problems that they have, and we discuss diet and supplements. And whether you know it or not, there is no way you get all of, the, all of the nutrients in your diet nowadays like maybe our grandparents did because food is not the same, it's not as nutritious, and most of us don't eat at home with whole foods all the time. That's about the only way to get most of the nutrients that you need. But there are some nutrients that have been taken away from us by different by decisions that our governments made or by the FDA requirements. And we'll talk about that too, because that involves iodine. Iodine's one of those, one of those nutrients that we used to get supplemented in foods like bread, or now it's just in salt. But it used to be in several different types of foods, and we used to not worry about getting enough iodine. So um, one of the things that our parents did not have to deal with is um, our water. Our water supply is quite different than 75 years ago. 75 years ago, believe it or not, we decided that keeping people from having dental caries or dental uh, having um, to have damage to your teeth and have cavities um, was so important that we should put fluoride in our water. Now, fluoride sounds like a great thing because it decreases the number of people who have cavities, especially children. But when they did that, they added this to all the American, America's water, except for well water, of course. And, uh, and that's 75 years ago they did this. We have fewer cavities but now we have people with tons of illnesses and a lot more thyroid disease than we ever thought about. And that's because fluoride bumps iodine out of the water supply. Basically, you can't get the iodine in your water because fluoride just kicks it out. It's stronger. It has a stronger bond to your water. So you're going to get water with fluoride that has no iodine, even if you're in a place that has iodine in your in your source of water, it's not going to get to you because of the fluoride. So we've traded dental hygiene, which is very important, and you can get fluoride toothpaste. You don't have to drink fluoride water to get that. Um, and for our iodine, which supplies our thyroid, um, our breasts, our pancreas, our stomach, all, kind, all parts of our body, including our metabolism and our ability to lose weight. Iodine is that important. It's a vital, necessary um, element, micronutrient, in, a, in an adult and children as well, pregnant people as well, in our diets. We have to have it to live. Now, um, basically, we used to get iodine not only supplemented, but we used to get it from our food. And the food that contains iodine is basically food from the ocean or kelp or algae that comes from the ocean. All, all of those, the green in the ocean basically makes the iodine and it then is in the ocean water. When you walk on the beach and you feel so good, part of that is that the iodine has been, um, dis it has been dissolved into the air 
and it is then landing on your skin and giving you a dose of iodine. So people who live on a beach or near a beach or even in, a, in proximity to an ocean get iodine not only in, their, in the air, but they also have it in their groundwater. And if it's not fluorinated, if, it's, if it is a well, then you don't get it. You get it in your water if it's a well, but not if it's city water because they fluorinate everything. So now we have 25% 25 fewer, 25 fewer cavities and 100% increase of diseases like diabetes, heart disease, uh, metabolic syndrome, hypertension, high cholesterol, and thyroid disease. Now I'm really... I've noticed, since I've practiced for 40 years, that the thyroid problem has gotten worse and worse and worse. And the response of medical people in the lab have, what they've done is they've just said, oh, well, that, that group of people can't possibly, there can't be that many people with high thyroid or elevated thyroid or low thyroid. We have to actually change the reference range. So they've actually changed the numbers that we judge hypothyroidism with by making the range lower. So if you had a, a free T4 of 0.8, that's almost normal in their world, but it's not normal until you get to one. If you have a T3 of uh, 2.4, you're considered normal because they've lowered the normal down to 2.3, but that's not normal or healthy. So let's talk about thyroid for a second. And I talk about this all the time. I, I hate to um, reiterate things, but if this is the only health cast you're watching, I'd like to talk about it for a second. The benefits that you get from your thyroid are immense. Your thyroid manages how you burn calories. It manages your cholesterol. It manages um, <clears throat> how much energy you have. It manages how, how high your blood pressure is. It usually, if you don't have enough thyroid, your blood pressure is low, your pulse is slow, your whole body moves slowly. Um, thyroid is necessary for mammals to live, and we are a mammal, and we need to have our thyroids working. But the thyroid hormone is made of one amino acid, one piece of a protein, a tiny little amino acid, and three iodines or four iodines. So you need a lot of iodine to make one molecule of thyroid. And you also need enough iodine to go to your cells that actually pick up the thyroid. You need iodine there too to be in the receptor site so that those two things can hook up and actually make your cells burn calories and make energy for you and make heat for you. And if you don't have heat, we're warm-blooded for a reason, if you are cold all the time and have a, a cold body temperature under, um, usually normal is 98 something, if you're down at the 97 mark, you, don't, you aren't warm enough to make all the enzymes in your body that are, are keeping you healthy work. You need to be warm enough for that. So your body temperature should be around 98. So that's what your thyroid does for you. Most, a lot of um, women get low thyroid disease because of a lack of iodine at the time that they become, um, they start their periods and they get breasts. Why is that? Well, that your breasts absorb a lot of iodine and the breasts need iodine and they steal it from your thyroid. And you're basically, your thyroid is starved for, for iodine if you don't have enough in your diet. So little girls get breasts and they're te teenagers and then their thyroid goes and they gain a ton of weight and they get exhausted and tired, they can't think. And everybody looks at these, at these lab tests and says, oh yeah, you're normal. Well, they don't give them iodine and they don't give them thyroid and then they stay like that and become adults like that. And that is the first step toward metabolic syndrome or high blood pressure, high cholesterol, um, diabetes, high, hypertension and early death. So it all starts there when we don't have enough iodine for our thyroids. So metabolic syndrome, I'm going to go back to that, is basically a combination of, of high blood sugar, diabetes, obesity, high blood pressure, high blood pressure, and high cholesterol. Sometimes it, it includes a, a big uh, abdominal girth, but 
Honestly, I don't think that that's a reliable test because if you're seven feet tall and your abdominal girth is what they say it is to have metabolic syndrome, it's not, that's not too big for somebody who's really tall. So it, there is not one measurement of your abdomen that is going to tell me that you have metabolic syndrome. So I kind of keep that out. I actually, when I'm talking to my patients, I try to help them get their thyroid function back. And I try to get their metabolic syndrome to go away because if I don't, that increases their risk of early death. I mean, I'm trying to make them healthier. Not only am I trying to make them healthy by giving them the foundation of replacing hormones after 40, but I'm trying to keep them healthy by making sure they get the right nutrients and by helping them get rid of some of these uh, syndromes that they've developed over time. And this syndrome starts with a lack of iodine. I see this a lot in my practice because I'm in the middle of the goiter belt. And that's what they used to call the Midwest, the goiter belt. And that is because iodine comes, like I said, from ocean algae and, um, uh, and ocean water that then seeps into the soil and leaves the iodine there as a nutrient. So we, in the Midwest, there was an ocean covering the Midwest at one time, but when the glaciers came and then scraped off our, the top soil from the Midwest, it scraped off all the iodine-containing uh, ground and rocks. So we don't have a lot of iodine in our groundwater. Because of that, back in the early 1900s, they called it the goiter belt because when your thyroid's really low, you get a big lump right at the top of your, of your collarbone right here, and it's, it's a goiter. And that's a sign that your thyroid is, is struggling, that it's not working enough, and that you need iodine. And sometimes it's, it's so bad that it's actually made your thyroid gland not recoverable, not, we can't resuscitate it with just iodine. So that is one of the things I see every day in this area, but it's also because we fluorinate our water. And that I can't stress that enough, that I think that's, that's the beginning of the end in terms of us being healthy from childhood on. So let's go to a place to compare with um, the U.S. Let's go to Japan. Japan has tons of iodine. It's surrounded by ocean water, algae, and, and uh, seaweed. So there's tons of iodine in their food. So they consume seven times the amount of iodine that we consume. And uh, it has, they have the lowest incidence of metabolic syndrome, which is the high blood pressure, obesity, hypertension, um, high cholesterol, heart disease, and early death. So when we look at them and we study it, we, their iodine levels are quite high. They're at a level when they're healthiest where for some reason we've decided, powers that be here have decided that those levels where they're healthy and where we would be healthy are too high. So they've, they've decreased what the range on a blood test shows of normal thyroid, or nor, excuse me, normal iodine. When I test people sometimes who have clearly had the symptoms of low thyroid, but their thyroid test looks kind of normal, but they have the symptoms, I test their iodine. And it comes back between, the range is 52 to 107, and sometimes it'll come back at 54, and they'll say, see, I'm, I'm fine. Well, the range for... Um, real healthy iodine levels go, is between 300 and 499. So I would stretch it to 100 to 399, or four, excuse me, 499. And there are several studies that show that this is the healthiest level, but your lab test doesn't show that. So when you're up at 499, your doctor will say, oh, go off your iodine. Well, honestly, you can decrease your dose a little bit, because that's at the very top end, but you're getting a lot of benefit from the iodine and that's its effect on both your thyroid, 
your pancreas, your stomach, your gut bacteria, um, your blood pressure. I mean, it's helping you in so many different ways. It's hard to even explain how this tiny little inexpensive supplement can, can help you. So just to give you an example, uh, <clears throat> they've done studies on this and they found that when patients had a blood level of 300, remember the range, the reference ranges the labs show you are up to 107. When people are at 300, their blood pressure drops. Um, insulin resistance is improved by taking iodine and getting the, iodine, getting the iodine level between 100 and 300. Um, gout, which is uh, too much uric acid, gout is uh, much better and the uric acid drops if, uh, if the iodine level is around 300. Mortality rates increase between 33 and 75 percent in people with iodine levels that are low. And I would say that's probably less than 100. They didn't give me a range, they just said low. Um, inflammation and inflammatory diseases improve. So that's autoimmune diseases and poor immunity. So if you feel like you get sick all the time and your immune system isn't working properly, then taking I an iodine supplement would really help you do you some good. Uh, we call that immune modulation. So if you, have, if you have an overactive, an autoimmune disorder, that's iodine's a modulator. It, it decreases that overreactive um, immune system and it, and it increases an underactive immune system. So this, it comes down to this. This is the, the supplement. There's not a lot of supplements, but this is a supplement that we like and we carry at the office. It's called Iodorol. And it comes in 12.5 milligrams. We usually start patients, this is 90 pills for um, 45, around $45. 90 days, if you take a whole pill. Many patients take half a pill, um, and then we check their ranges. But a whole pill generally is fine for most adults. And you just take it when you take your other vitamins or other medications. It doesn't have to be, there's no special treatment of it. But it does really help all of these, prevent these diseases or decrease the severity of these diseases. And it definitely does help thyroid disease, unless, of course, your thyroid's actually not working at all because of uh, an autoimmune disease like Hashimoto's or if it's not working at all because you've gone so long without iodine. So if you're learning this when you're 50, so you may not be able to recover your thyroid with iodine, but even if you have hypothyroidism and you take thyroid, you should take iodine so that the receptor sites can actually receive that, uh, that thyroid that you're taking and actually activate the cells to make more, more energy burning and make more heat and actually heal a lot of the um, abnormalities of metabolic syndrome. It's one of those things that I advise patients to take, and it's the most commonly um, forgotten supplement. It doesn't make you sick. It doesn't make, you don't even know if you've taken it or not, but it is really vital. And so many patients go, oh, yeah, I forgot. You know, honestly, it's not that hard. You know, just get the little pill thing and put one in each day and just slug down your supplements. It's not rocket science but it can prevent a lot of illness in your life. And that's what we're trying to do is prevent illness. We're trying to make you healthier, keep your thyroid working, and if it's not working, help it work. So um, the one thing that I used to prescribe this for when I was doing GYN was fibrocystic breast disease. Fibrocystic breast disease does not lead to cancer, so let me just start with that. But if you have fibrocystic breast disease, you probably have had low iodine because that's one of the ways your breasts respond to not having enough iodine is making fibrous tissue out of the breast tissue. And so what that does is when you get a mammogram or an ultrasound, um, fibrous tissue can hide a cancer. It can, it's like putting ground glass o over your glasses or your contact lenses. You can't really see clearly. So it's hard to diagnose a cancer, which then increases your risk of not finding it early enough. 
So taking the iodine in the form of iodorol will help stop that fibrous reaction, especially in younger women, women who aren't menopausal. So this is something that would help you find a cancer in your 40s because the radiologist doesn't have to get through all of that uh, like interference on the screen. So remember that when you're taking your supplements and you decide what supplements you want to take, and, um, and as much as fluoride has helped our, our dentition, honestly, I, I truly believe it shouldn't be in our water. So most of us will have filtered water or water that is actually uh, without any kind of uh, minerals in it, which isn't always good either. Uh, that's, that's what you have to do when you filter your water. Everything comes out. It's not just... It's not just the uh, iodine, it's not just the fluoride, it's everything. So you're, you're drinking water without any kind of uh, minerals, and normal water has some minerals in it. So, so, that's my, so that's my lecture against fluoride and my uh, advocation for iodine, because I think one simple, inexpensive supplement, I mean, three months supply at $45, that's not bad, and if you take half a pill, it's, it, it's six months supply. I mean, that's, that's a very easy uh, supplement to pay for compared to a lot of the others. So I would like you to think about that when you're looking at your own medical picture, the medical picture of your children, the medical picture of your, the, your loved ones, and think, what can I do to help this person not die early, not have any of these diseases, and help them be as healthy and as energetic and as svelte, or whatever you want to call it, ideal body weight as they can. They need iodine for that. So please recommend that to your loved ones. Thank you for listening to me. Email your questions or comments to podcast at biobalancehealth.com. You can find the Biobalance HealthCast on iTunes and on YouTube. For more information about bioidentical hormone pellet therapy and other reverse aging solutions, visit biobalancehealth.com or call 314-993-0963. You can find Dr. Maupin on Twitter at Dr. Kathy Maupin and on Facebook at facebook.com slash biobalancehealth.